grazie. Allora, a facoltà ora di replica, in nome della Commissione, la Vicepresidente Iurova. Onorevole Members, uh... Madam President, thank you very much for, for this very important debate. I have listened very carefully, and everything you have said today will feed into our future discussions, uh, which will start as soon as possible. I just heard the question, what's the legal reason? Well, it's the mere principle of the rule of law. The interinstitutional body cannot be authorized to do individual investigations and to impose sanctions. Simply, there is no space for, for it in the treaty. It's not in the treaty. So I cannot propose, sorry, I cannot propose something which is not foreseen in the treaty. I am also the defender of the rule of law in the EU. So uh, I can give you very long legal analysis, uh, if you like, because you ask for that. Uh, I think that uh, it's, it's a very important debate also uh, which shows that there are many different voices who say it's too little, some others say it's too much, too late, uh, and I expected uh, the diversity of views in, in this house. And again, thank you very much for, for this discussion. It's not true that the ethics body I'm proposing will be coordinating body or consulta consultation body. Uh, no, it will be the standard setter. Uh, it cannot be independent, bod independent body. There will be representatives of each ni of nine institutions uh, who will be at the same time responsible for making commitments. So the ethics body will together set the standards and the representatives of each institution will, uh, then will go back home to their institution and will be responsible for uh, application for, uh, for taking the standards uh, and embedding the standards into the internal rules of each institution and this will be legally binding. So it's not true that the body will not have any competence uh, regarding the enforcement of the rules. Um, I uh, said at the beginning uh, that uh, I uh, foresee this body to work in synergy with uh, the internal structures in each institution who deal with disciplinary breaches and uh, the, the ethics uh, issues. And uh, so when I hear in this house uh, the strong calls for outsourcing of the investigations and sanctions outside the parliament, uh, I have to say uh, I, I took in, uh, to take it on board. I am thinking about it a lot. Uh, what's the reason? Because in my, in my uh, previous experience, whenever I uh, wanted to outsource something, it was always the case when I didn't have enough capacities or professional experience or sim simply something missing in my institution when I, am, when I decide to outsource it. If I have everything in place, I cannot outsource or, or I should not outsource. So that's why I was surprised when I, when I heard such strong calls because uh, the question is, does it show that in the European Parliament there are structures which are not doing the job, which are not fulfilling the task? That's a question mark. It's for you to answer. But at the, at the beginning I said that uh, the ethics body should work in synergy with the institutional uh, bodies uh, who have the duties now. Each institution has to do the job. And uh, there are structures in each of the institutions to do that. And why I am a, a, a bit surprised, because uh, I uh, was uh, representing the Commission in uh, quite uneasy discussions and negotiations on the transparency register, on the lobbyist register. And I heard very often the comments uh, of the negotiations from the European Parliament that we have to be very careful about the, the freedom of the mandate of the member of the Parliament, the member who received direct power from the voters, and which has to be respected, and at the same time, uh, the immunities. So that's why I ask myself, and I, I also ask you, uh, how come that you want to outsource uh, the, such, such a, 
uh, such work, which is a kind of intrusive investigations of individual cases and sanctions, these are very strong powers. So how come that you want to outsource it? But uh, we will have enough uh, space to discuss that. And I will receive more answers from, from your side, because on the 3rd of July, we should have the first political meeting with other institutions. We will be sitting nine around the table. And here comes uh, maybe the reason why it took so long, because I needed time to consult with all the institutions and the result which I am proposing today or which I proposed last week at the college was the result of very, very intense and long consultations with all other nine institutions. And from all other nine institutions, I heard the same thing. We do not agree with the ethics body which should have the investigative or sanctioning uh, uh, competence. So uh, it's not just the commission behind that, but this is the result of what I heard from other institutions. And I came on this basis uh, to the conclusion what will be feasible and operational body. That is my goal to establish something which will be meaningful, operational and legally sound. So again, if you want the legal analysis why uh, we cannot go far, I, of course I can, prop I can offer that. Uh, one added value has not been mentioned here. We want uh, the standards agreed by the ethics body to be uh, very broadly uh, communicated to the general public. Because I believe that the people may be confused. We have so many important institutions uh, and no common standards. I think that it must be confusing, it must be disappointing for the citizens. And uh, the lack of clarity on uh, what are the rules, uh, I think, is one of the factors which causes the decrease of trust. Uh, and uh, I can tell you, whatever... We, we, whatever survey we see and our own observations, the decrease of trust in institutions, not only EU institutions, but democratic institutions, uh, I, I see three reasons. Abuse of power, corruption, and undeserved privileges. And this is exactly what the ethics body will do. Setting the high standards, being very clear, using clear language, trips, forget it, forget financing from private party, Either you are in the job or you go privately. Then uh, there shouldn't be any third party to pay. Gifts? Why? Why should I get any gifts? So maybe uh, it might, uh, if we set the standards in a very clear way, uh, the citizens will, will understand better uh, what, what we are doing and what are the limits. And of course, ethics is First of all, the issue for each of us, it's individual responsibility and there is no ethics body uh, which will guarantee that there will be no uh, individual failures. So, uh, honorable members, I am very de determined to work together with you and other institutions uh, which should be uh, the establishers of this body. Uh, I am ready for modifications or improvements, but I have to insist that the body should be, and I will repeat myself, sorry I am too long, but operational, legally sound and, and meaningful. Uh, so I am determined to defend such model and I'm looking forward to further co cooperation. Thank you very much. Grazie a lei e eh, ai tutti i colleghi che sono intervenuti. La discussione è chiusa e la votazione si svolgerà durante la prossima tornata. Grazie.